Well, good early morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Duty Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 25th, 2019. Yes, this is a very early do. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. My oh my, we're going to start out here with our forest fire situation across Africa and, of course, the Amazon. Also overlooking quite a dust storm here over Yemen and southern Egypt. Somalia. Huge dust storm off the west coast of Africa as well, with many storms that are forming around the world right now. It's happening now, folks. Things are really starting to ramp up, heat up, and I'm telling you, when we get some sun energy, if we get a flare, if we get a sunspot, something, it's going to give. It's going to give. Overlooking North America, you can see things are drastically changing. Cooler temperatures starting to move down even into Ontario. And watching many storms across the Atlantic. One, two, three, four tropical storms. Five, six, seven areas of interest. That's right, but we have three named storms. But we're going to look here. Overlooking Africa, there are literally thousands of fires burning across Africa right now. Angola, in the Congo regions, you could see huge plumes of black, thick, gray smoke. And of course, the terrible situation in the Amazon right now. But there is a massive fire in Bolivia right now, in San Jose. De Chicos? De, de Chicolos? Yeah, so this is just south of Bolivia. Now look at this cloud structure from the fires in this area. This is sad. Prayers for Amazon. Thoughts and prayers for anybody being affected by these natural, hopefully they are natural events that are happening across the planet. Much love to you all for watching as well. Thanks for tuning in to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Just a devastating situation right now acro across our planet. The fires, the floods, the volcanoes. Millions of lives are being affected across the world right now. So please, we need to come together now as all these changes are drastically happening and we can see them unfolding. Just like when there's planetary alignments happening in our solar system. You know, I've been warning for the August 24th to see an uptick in seismicity, and we definitely did get that. We also had Mercury going into retrograde with Venus and the Sun. But nonetheless, we were all in a line. Venus, Mercury, our Sun, and Mars. All lined up perfectly. But what we were able to see on the Soho images, Alaska 2 Soho, is quite an amazing thing. So we got to see Mercury here go retrograde with Venus on the other side of the sun. But we were able to see it as we watch our sun and it's amazing how even Mercury, that's Mercury coming in there. Check that out. This is the last two days, three days or two days of images. And you can see it affects the sun. Look at the, just look at the corona increase around the sun. And even affected the coronal mass ejection you can see on the back side of the sun which has been there during the alignment for the past few days so watch for that active side of the sun to come around let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes and there is definitely an increase we had a pretty sizable 6.0 earthquake in Vanuatu Southwest of Sola, Vanuatu at 118 kilometer depth. It's a pretty deep earthquake. 
then we had 5.0 moving northwest into Japan, and as well a 4.8 Marianas Trench. As well as Tonga with a 5.0 and at 5.4, and New Zealand with a 4.1. So we did see an increase in seismicity from planetary alignments. Our solar system and everything in it works with one another and affects one another. Just like humans on planet, we have to work with each other amongst each other. So please stay aware and prepared. Something else I wanted to point out here was this atmospheric anomaly happening over the Texas border and Mexico. Very large supercell thunderstorm. You can see it just kind of blew up. Now watch for, you know, some photos, videos coming out on social media throughout the day today, because this is definitely an atmospheric event that doesn't happen very often. And I've been seeing a few of these recently. They're starting to increase in numbers. So stay aware and prepared. I wanted to show a further look here over the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. You can see definitely we have two large tropical storms. And then the upper level low, which is forming just over Colorado. So stay aware and prepared. Let's look at the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Look overlooking the Atlantic Ocean and we do have one, two, three tropical storms spinning around. Delilah and of course unnamed and Chantel and as well this storm here, which is going to rip across Newfoundland over the next few days, watching things really ramp up across the northern hemisphere. Large low pressure system affecting Iceland and Greenland. Gulf of Mexico. So here comes the atmospheric event over Texas and watches this tropical low moves north onto land through Arkansas over the next few days and then joins forces with a very large low coming from the north and a low pressure system, low pr upper level low that developed over Colorado. So these three low pressure systems are joining forces and see where they land Hudson Bay. So I've been watching early polar vortex scenarios already develop across the northern hemisphere. So stay aware and prepared. We are on the verge of an early winter. I think things are going to change drastically. And I've been talking about this for two years on my channel and I'm going to keep talking about it until they don't let me talk about it anymore. And I want to thank all of my subscribers, to, you know, tuning into Morning Dew, daily events worldwide every day. Let's get back to weather. So we do have a tropical storm moving over uh, the west coast of Mexico as well. But watch as coming in the coming days, these upper level winds are really going to kick up. So I turned it up to 10,000 feet. So these are the winds at 10,000 feet. Uh, no, we don't want temperatures. We want winds. Here we go. So it kicked up to almost 210 kilometers an hour, but we're going to have sustained winds here in Calgary for the next couple days. And we could have some pretty gusty winds up to 50 K as these strong winds come off the Pacific and the large low develops to the east and starts pulling down those colder temperatures from the north. So the scenarios are playing out. And the five day forecast is showing some cooler temperatures moving in throughout the country. But also watch for this large storm. It could get nasty, actually. It could get nasty. Super storm scenario developing. But look at these temperatures on the back side of these storms dropping down to three, four degrees Celsius at night. That is four degrees to freezing. And we're not even in September yet. I want to say happy birthday to Trinity. Much love to you, my daughter. 
19 today. Enjoy, stay safe. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.